it's a conditioned stimulus, and uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's got something in his hands. So that, that oh, I got it. So he had this in his hands. In fact, it would, at this point, it's probably anything. I'm I'm still worried because he smacked me with there. See, he smacked me with that last time, and that, and he threatened me with keys. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that a conditioned stimulus is the stimulus that you pair with an unconditioned stimulus. Okay, um, so an unconditioned stimulus is the stimulus that elicits a response. Notice I said elicit, um, so it elicits a response out of the organism um, without any prior history, without any training. In other words, it's, uh, it, it, it triggers a reflex. Okay, so why was this thing, why, why was I looking a little scared at the beginning? Um, because Brad, the conditioned stimulus in this case was Brad having something in his hands, and the, the, the repeated history of him throwing stuff at me on camera um, has, uh, sh not shaped, but has uh, um, conditioned me to be, uh, have a fear response. I'm still nervous, like even my heart rate's up. Um, uh, to have it. <laughs> now, now I'm completely done. Um, wow, we got a whole set. No, I can't even describe what's going on right now. I got to come back for other videos for that. Anyway, uh, conditioned stimulus, the stimulus that you use um, that uh, eventually elicits a conditioned response uh, through pairing in a classical conditioning procedure with an unconditioned stimulus.